What's good, my lovelies, and welcome to my channel, Lovely Soul Empress. Uh, today I'm going to be doing Scorpio's love reading from July 6th to the 13th. If you're looking for a private reading, my information will be in the description box. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I pull a daily tarot card of the day for the overall energy. You'll find me at Lovely Soul Empress as well. I'm running a contest for the rest of the month. All you have to do to enter is like, subscribe, and comment on any one of my videos. You'll be automatically entered on the first. I will pick a winner. They will win a Celtic spread reading with a question of their choice. I will comment under the winner. They will have 48 hours to get back to me or else I will move on to the next person. As I stated, this reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, as well as the Cross Watcher if you're dealing with a Scorpio, someone who has that important placement. I've already Play, prayed, shuffled, meditated on the decks, as well as smudged with Palo Santo, as I do between readings. As well, uh, I'm going to start off with clearing the energy. Uh, if you'd like to clear your energy as well, all you have to do is take a deep breath, close your eyes, and we will jump right in. Let me do it again. For some reason, here we go. Thank you, spirit. Okay, so if you've watched me before, you know I like to take jumpers. If you wanna fast forward, that's fine. So all the cards are out, I'm gonna jump right in. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Spirit. Scorpio, July 6th through the 13th, Spirit. Messages for Scorpio, most important messages they need to know right now, Spirit. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For their highest good spirit. Regarding love, most important messages they need to know right now, spirit. Two more, spirit. Two more, spirit. One more spirit there we go thank you spirit at the bottom of the deck is the wheel of fortune so scorpio you have the strength card the page of pentacles and the six of swords at the heart of the matter is the four of swords your partner has the four of wands the fool and the page of wands the overall energy is the wheel of fortune so we're going to jump right in and we're going to start clarifying. Uh, the strength card is Leo, okay? It also has uh, the Empress taming the beast, okay? So Leo um, and the Empress is Taurus and Virgo, okay? I mean, Taurus and Libra spirit. The strength card. Why does Scorpio have the strength card spirits? So right away, um... The strength card talks about trying to go in, go within for strength to deal with the situation. And then that's clarified with the devil, okay? So that's Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, but the devil indicates some type of toxicity in a relationship, whether it be uh, addiction, um, just overall toxic behavior, or it could be um, an obsession, right? Spirit, strength, and the devil. Why does Scorpio have strength in the devil spirit? Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Whoop. Why does Scorpio have strength with the devil spirit? Okay, so the page of wands talks about passionate, uh, news about passion and uh, the two of pentacles. So somebody giving to two situations. You might have heard about this. This might have been the toxicity that was happening and you're trying to draw on your inner strength for this. Page of Pentacles, Spirit. Why does Scorpio have the Page of Pentacles? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why does Scorpio have the Page of Pentacles, Spirit? Scorpio. So Page of Pentacles talks about a uh, offer of something in the material, right? Something you can touch. It can be a high ticket purchase. It could be something small like, hey, can we go out for dinner? It could be like, let me get you, you know, 
let's buy a new house it, it, it can range now you've got the three of swords so whatever this gift was it was due to a heartbreak because of this juggling and the three of wands they're waiting or you're waiting okay spirit six of swords why does scorpio have the six of swords sun moon rising and venus why does scorpio have the six of swords july 6th to the 13th why does Scorpio have the Six of Swords? So the Six of Swords talks about wanting to move away to calmer waters. This can be with your partner or without, okay? Now, um, you want to move away to calmer waters. Um, and that's being clarified by the Knight of Wands. This is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. This Knight of Wands, sometimes he's flaky. He comes in and out, right? He's the player card, right? So, um... And that's being clarified by the Ten of Cups, which is the happy life, happy wife, happy family card. And then that's being clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, which is also here as the overall energy. So um, the impression that I'm getting is that you found out that your partner, or it could be vice versa, but you found out that your partner um, had been juggling two situations, right? And this caused heartbreak. This person might have even offered you like a high ticket uh, item. For your forgiveness and they're waiting to see if you're gonna accept it right because uh the six of swords you want to move away to calmer waters um they probably feel this um they know that their uh behavior with this knight of wands flighty using your phallic um they know that that's the problem and the ten of cups is at risk because of it and the wheel of fortune they feel you energetically moving away okay and you could have physically moved with the Wheel of Fortune. Like, Spirit, Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here at the heart of the matter for my Scorpio gang? Spirit, why is the Four of Swords here? Too many, Spirit. Why is the Four of Swords here at the heart of the matter for Scorpio? Four of Swords. So Four of Swords talks about resting and healing, trying to get over this, um, this uh, Two of Pentacles and the, um, the Devil toxicity, right? So resting and healing, right? And then that's being clarified by the lovers. Why? Because um, you both felt like this was your person, right? And before I even go on, if you look at the Devil card... And the lover's card, they're really similar, okay? Except that in this one, they're chained, and this one, they're not, okay? So um, you guys might want to break those chains of toxicity, and that's being clarified by the magician. Now, the magician, um, this talks about being able to manifest the outcome that you want, but it also can be somebody who was being sneaky, right? So... I feel like what's going on here is that you guys are trying to manifest breaking this toxicity um, with this um, giving to two situations and the juggling, okay? Spirit, why is the four of wands here for Scorpio's partner, Spirit? Four of wands. Why is the four of wands here, Spirit? Why is the four of wands here? So the four of wands talks about the home life and that's what's at stake right now. They feel like you are their home and that's being clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, which is talking about the legacy card, building a legacy, uh, generational wealth. This is what you guys were working towards, right? And then this is justice. So they feel like, or you could feel like, depending on who was the person who had the, the uh, third party, um, that this was unjust, and that they want um they want justice whether it be you or or um whether the roles are reversed or not justice shows up when the karma needs to be dealt okay so this could be a situation where <clears throat> they could be saying i don't know why this is happening i'm a good person or they could be saying i want someone to get exactly what they've done to me why because of this rest and healing four swords is here so it looks like they're still not healed from this situation or they know that you have not which is what i'm getting spirit 
Why does Scorpio's partner have the fool spirit? Why does Scorpio's partner have the fool? Why does Scorpio's partner have the fool spirit? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. July 6th through the 13th. Why does Scorpio's partner have the fool? So um, the fool is a new beginning, taking a leap of faith or a risk. This is the card of Aries. All right, that's being clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. This is a very stable queen. She is ha she has a lot of wisdom. She's nurturing. She's caring. She's often a mother. Okay, she's good with money and business. Okay, she's the quintessential wife. So um, they want to. It looks like they want to take a leap of faith with you. Two of Wands is here talking about needing to make a decision. So they might feel like you have to make a decision or they're making a decision to cut out this third party. Uh, why? Because of the Four of Wands, because of the home life. They know that this has caused a lot of drama in you guys' life. Spirit, why is the Page of Wands here for my Scorpio gang? Page of Wands. So that's being clarified by the Two of Cups, okay? So again, with the Two of Cups, because you had the Lovers, which is the major arcana. This is the minor arcana of the same card. So Page of Wands. So now they're coming forward to you, um, sending you a passionate message that you are um, their um, Two of Cups. They love you, the world, all right? They want to put this um, third-party situation to bed they they want to move past this okay why because of nine of pentacles they see you uh in your single energy and uh looking good smelling good feeling good and they're nervous okay will of fortune spirit why is the will of fortune here is the overall energy of scorpio's reading spirit so the wheel of fortune uh is talking about i i take it to be all signs the wheel of fortune Okay, it could be anybody. But the wheel talks about uh, cycles coming to a close, right? And moving towards a new cycle, right? And that's being clarified by the death card. So when you see the death card, it, it denotes endings and new beginnings, transformation. They want to transform this relationship. Wheel of Fortune with the death card spirit. Why is the Wheel of Fortune with the death card is the overall energy for Scorpio's reading? Why the Wheel of Fortune with the Death card spirit? Why? Wheel of Fortune with the Death card spirit for Scorpio. <clears throat> yeah, because there was a deception and they want to leave all of that behind. Okay? With that Seven of Swords. Let's continue and get some um, more messages. Spirit, can you show me what Scorpio's partner is feeling that they have not said can you show me what scorpio's partner is feeling that they haven't said can you show me what scorpio's partner is feeling that they have not said spirit anything else spirit anything else anything else spirit thank you spirit be kind and gentle in actions and, and words we both deserve it now that we are united, we can work anything out. And we are twin flames. Our divine union is meant to be. So I feel like they're trying to, they're waiting on you. Maybe because you didn't make a full um, decision. There was the only card here that really signified an ending was this death card, death and transformation. These other cards, it looks like you guys hit a rough patch. You've pulled energetically away from this person. This person is unclear and waiting on a decision from you in regards to this home life. Okay, this 10 of cups. So that's what's happening here. They're waiting on you. They're hoping that you guys can fix this. And it says, we are twin flames. Our divine union is meant to be. So I get the impression that you guys are still working this out presently, okay? And they want to have kind words between you. They feel like arguing and harshness is not advancing you guys' situation, okay? Spirit, what does Scorpio feel for their partner? What does Scorpio feel for their partner? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Scorpio feel for their partner, Spirit? Scorpio, July 6th through the 13th. Ooh, so many. 
you feel like heart-to-heart -heart conversations are necessary, you are concentrating on your finances and career, you deserve love and it's safe for you to love. So you're trying to see if, if this is safe for you to come back to the situation. Spirit, what does Scorpio's partner feel, Spirit? What does Scorpio's partner feel? What does Scorpio's partner feel? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. They see you're in, in retreat mode. They're trying to stay optimistic. And they want to come out of this separation, okay? Spirit, what actions will Scorpio take towards their partner, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? So you feel like this is a past life relationship and you want to forgive and learn from this situation because there's a lot of passion here. Spirit, what actions will Scorpio's partner take towards them this week? What actions will Scorpio's partner take towards them this week? What actions will Scorpio's partner take towards them this week? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What actions, Spirit, will Scorpio's partner take towards them? So they feel you could be the one and they feel you're worth waiting for. They know that there's a lot of chemistry here. They're afraid you'll go after a new love. So they want to reconcile this situation and make the effort. They're trying to keep an open mind. There's a lot of attraction here. They know they were dishonest. They want to keep things playful. They want to let go of control issues. And they have uh, a lot of passion for you. They're afraid you're trying to uh, free yourself. Okay? Spirit, what's the outcome for this situation for my Scorpio gang? What's the outcome for my Scorpio spirit? What's the outcome for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, July 6th through the 13th, Spirit? What's the outcome for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Outcome, Spirit, for my Scorpio gang. Last shuffle, Spirit. What's the outcome? There's a lot of attraction here. You both want to express your love. You're both afraid that it's unrequited. Um, there's trust issues. This is true love, getting to know each other, but you're both paying attention to the red flags. You're feeling like maybe if you go away, you can renew some of these sparks. And somebody is going to their friends for advice. Uh, with that devil energy, there's still some codependency here, but you guys are trying to give your relationship a chance. So that's what I have for you guys. It looks like you guys are trying to work it out with your partner. Spirit. Can I get a message for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and uh, Venus, July 6th through the 13th, Spirit? So this is true love, okay? That's what I have for you, my wonderful Scorpios. It looks like you guys are trying to work it out. There's some heart-to-heart -heart conversations necessary. Looks like you guys are trying to take out the toxicity of your relationship. And you are acknowledging that there was some deception. And you're trying to move past that. That's what I have for you guys. I just want to say thank you to you guys for taking the time out to spend with me. I know you have plenty of options to get your tarot readings. To those of you that are subscribed, thank you so much for coming back. And for those of you who are new, if I resonated with you, I'd love for you to like, subscribe, and comment. I'd love to have you as part of the Lovely Soul family. I am wishing you light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.